Uh, so a little bit of a quick hitter for you today. I'm gonna replace the driver's side taillight. The one that's on there is cracked and fills with water every time it rains or if you wash the car. So that's not ideal. This one I picked up at a junkyard. Now you can see on this one, there's a little bit of delamination. It's really dirty, so it's kind of maybe kind of hard to tell, but you can see there's some, especially like right up here, you can see up here, where the seal between the plastics is, is coming apart. That's unfortunately very, very common in these Camaro, Firebird, F-Body, whatever lights. And find good Firebird taillights is <laughs> insane. <laughs> they're hard to find and they're priced like it. So I picked this up pretty cheap. I think it was like 50 bucks. So it's got a little bit of delamination on, but at least it's all in one piece. And the passenger side one's got a little bit of, of you know, same, same deal. So the least match. Uh, these come out relatively easy. So I'll show you real quick how to do that. All right, so first you just peel back the carpet and these the carpets in these aren't attached real, real great. So you can just peel them back. And there's a bunch of these thumb screws. They can be kind of hard sometimes to get loose. If they are, they are hex headed. I'll show you this one here. So it's got a hex head top on it. I'm gonna guess because, you know, of course, everything else is probably 10 millimeter. Let's check it. Turns out, what do I know? It's 11 millimeter. Uh, and my hands are still kind of killing me. So these kind of come off a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna use Get myself a ratchet and get them started. Normally you just need to get them started. Once you get them going, they'll go all right. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, four of them. Five of them. There's a fifth one here in the tip on the back. can't get you in there on camera. You just have to reach in and find it with your hand. Okay. Kind of half connected to the, there it goes, to the center piece. So be careful there. Just take the bulbs out. And then just like everything else, just twist. Well, I say that, but that one doesn't seem to want to come out. Interesting. Bulb's got red paint on it. I wonder why. And the one bulb is an LED. So we'll see how the lights work. I haven't tried them yet, actually. A lot of times with these LED lights, let's see, that's gonna be, if it's a turn signal, then uh, you might get a hyper flash. It needs a resistor put in there. Uh, I did a video about that too, but on the Jeep with the turn signals and that one, but we'll see when they get this put back together, what lights are what. It's already dripping water out. So it still has water in there from when I washed the car the other day. Um, if you want to change a bulb, that's what you have to do. You got to pull the lens out anyway. So just pull it all the way out and then get a new one here and just go back in the same order. Not only do I think maybe this car was resprayed more recently than the factory. 
because the bulb had red paint on it. So I'm starting to wonder. I haven't got to paint yet in this car. I mentioned before I was getting ready for paint. It's kind of doing some odds and ends while I'm waiting for the clear coat to get here. I've been waffling on, is this a single stage or is it two stage paint? The factory color says base coat, base coat, clear coat. And I told a friend of mine, I think it's single stage paint. And he told me I was crazy. And he's probably right. Right? Like it was base coat, clear coat from the factory. That's what the sticker says. But as I'm doing any kind of sanding on this, or not any, but a lot of sanding on this, I'm immediately getting red in the sandpaper. I'm not versus like the white or kind of milky stuff you'd get out of, out of clear coat. I wonder if it's been resprayed with a single stage red. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when we get to paint. So I may be clearing the whole thing because the base clear will be much, I think, much shinier than single stage uh, with, the, with basically the clear integrated into the paint. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program here. Let's get this put back in. Or put in. I guess it's not going back in because it's never been in. There it goes. I'm not gonna tighten them with the wrench. I'll just tighten them by hand. That way we don't over tighten them. And accidentally break the plastic. All right, that's it. All right, and we'll tuck the carpet back in. Okay, well that's all there is to it. Like I said, be a relatively short one today. So if you gotta replace the bulbs or replace the whole housing, that's how you do it. I got a cracked up old tail light. If anybody wants one, let me know. Maybe you want to fix it. Like I said, quick one today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.